A young fan died at Taylor Swift's concert in Brazil and concerning details have emerged about the hours leading up to the incident. Here's what you need to know. 23-year-old Ana Clara Benavides Machado suffered a cardiac arrest on November 17th. Ana reportedly lined up in the sun for eight hours before being allowed into the Rio Stadium where fans were allegedly prohibited from bringing their own water bottles, despite the country experiencing a brutal heat wave. The day of the concert was one of the hottest days in Rio de Janeiro at 39.1 degrees Celsius, but apparently it felt much hotter. It's been reported that Anna fainted in the front row during Taylor's second song of the show, Cruel Summer. Anna was rushed to hospital where she died after resuscitation attempts. Taylor posted a statement on social media after the concert saying she was devastated by the tragic news. At the following show, Taylor performed her song Bigger Than the Whole Sky for the very first time, which many fans interpreted to be a tribute to Anna. Anna's father told Brazilian media, I want it to be found out whether they were in fact prohibited from bringing water, whether there was negligence in providing assistance. I have no words to express my pain. She left home to fulfill a dream and came back dead. The Office of Rio's public prosecutor has launched an investigation to determine Anna's official cause of death. Congresswoman Erica Hilton has also reported Brazilian entertainment company Time for Fun to the federal public ministry, claiming the decision to ban fans from bringing water bottles into the stadium was criminal. She also submitted a bill making it mandatory to have free water at concerts and to punish companies who refuse entry to fans with water for their own consumption. According to firefighter estimates, around 1,000 fans fainted at the concert due to dehydration, and some people allege they were treated for second degree and third degree burns because of the heat and the stadium's metal flooring and fencing. Throughout the show, Taylor continued to ask staff to supply water bottles to fans and ended up throwing bottles to the audience herself when she saw people were fainting. Videos have also surfaced on social media of Taylor seemingly struggling to breathe while she was performing. Taylor's November 18th show was postponed to November 20th due to extreme temperatures, and several changes were made to her November 19th concert to accommodate for the heat. Free water stations were set up for fans who were also allowed to bring sealed water containers into the venue, and pyrotechnics during Taylor's performance of Bad Blood were disabled. What does this mean for Aussie fans? Taylor is set to bring the Eras tour to Australia in February 2024, when the country will be experiencing one of its hottest summers on record thanks to El Nino. However, both her Sydney and Melbourne concert venues allow empty water bottles to be brought inside where they have several water refill stations available. It's also important to note that unlike Taylor's South American concerts, all of her Australian shows are reserved seating, so there's no need to queue outside the venue before doors open.